Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Well, let's talk about some concussion that we ain't going to get, that we never was going to get, and we all know what time it is. Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder, baby. Right? Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder for people been around. We, we've been wanting this fight for about five years. And, we you know, we, there's sides to it like everything else, like Spence and Crawford, you know, Pacquiao, Mayweather. You know, there's just kind of like sides. You get a, you know, on a side about it. Who didn't want the fight and this and that. So, um, you know, now uh, Eddie Hearn, the promoter of Anthony Joshua, was saying the fight is dead. Right? It's dead. And he went on to say it'll be a mismatch now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now... That would be cool if you don't really know, you know, what's been going on for all the time. You know, look like, yo, I mean, Deontay Wilder well, just got beat by Joseph Parker, man. We just got rid of Otto Wilder, man. We ain't got time for no damn Deontay Wilder. That's what that would look like, right? You know. So, um, what I'm thinking is, Anthony Joshua fans should be saying what I got in the title. We want to see Anthony Joshua. We st oh, we still want to see Anthony Joshua whoop Deontay Wilder's ass. That's what they supposed to be wanting because now, you know, he's obviously not that good, right? He obviously not that good. But see, that's where you get funny because he was never that good, right? So I don't know how we're going to react. But right now, you should still be, if Anthony Joshua was going to make some, a lot of money, and he still would probably make more money fighting uh, Deontay Wilder than probably anybody else right about now except for maybe Tyson Fury, right? He should do it. Deontay Wilder's down. He's not good. He can't, he can't let his hands go no more. You know, he's old. He's, it's over. He was only a one-trick pony, and if you take that trick away, it ain't nothing else left, right? So if you can get a lot of money beating that up, then the Anthony Joshua fans should be saying right now, we want to see Anthony Joshua whoop his butt. But that ain't happening. The fight is dead. Now, this goes back to what I told you guys in the first damn place. We didn't have to have... Joshua versus Wallen and Deontay Wilder versus, uh, versus Parker, Joseph Parker, right? We could have had the Joshua Wilder fight then. Why didn't that happen? We could have had the Joshua fight before, had the Joshua Deontay Wilder fought, fight before either one of them fought Hellenius, for crying out loud. It's always not happening, and we know why. Now, we're looking at this, you know, Anthony Joshua, Canelo Alvarez, to a lesser extent, but still, uh, Javante Davis. You know, these are the kind of fighters that don't have to fight certain people. You know, we just know it and then the boxing world just let them get away with it. Look, Anthony Joshua should fight Deontay Wilder it's still. You know, just get him out of the way. Just put him out of his misery. Right? And I guarantee you, if he said Joshua said, yeah, he would fight him, it'll be on. But it's supposed to be dead out of the water. Like he's, you know, he's so down and out. When we just saw Anthony Joshua struggle against Robert Alenius and people like he can't let his hands go. Struggling against Jermaine Franklin. Something's wrong with Deontay uh, against Anthony Joshua. You know, quitting basically against Andy Ruiz Jr. So don't act like we, everybody wasn't been down before. Now all of a sudden put him right up back, exalt him way above Deontay Wilder again. Like Deontay Wilder's not worthy to fight him right now. That's, that's how it would happen in the beginning. Meaning they haven't learned anything. Hopefully you've learned something. Because when you chronicalize this, all this stuff which has been going on with Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, you know, you know, basically if you go back, they were supposed to fight way a long time ago, uh, but in a September, what is it, 218, 219, they told Deontay Wilder, man, we can't get the, uh, the, the um, what is it called? I forget the name of the place. But we can't get the place, Wembley, cause, uh, in September. And then they couldn't do it with Deontay Wilder, but then they ended up fighting Pavekin. <laughs> right? They almost had some sign, and then uh, Pavekin, all of a sudden the WBA forces Pavekin as a mandatory. Go way back to then. Don't act like we forgot stuff. Then the first thing, the first thing Wilder said to Joshua was, hey, man, 60-40, man, you, you, the, you the A side. I'll take 40%. Joshua was like, hell no. You'll get 15%, 15 uh, million flat fee with nothing on top of it. Just flat. And then Joshua said after that, you know, man, if they pay me 50 million or something, then I'll fight right away or whatever. Then he gets offered that. Then they still don't fight. After that, Deontay Wilder always said, just said well, I just take the 15 million. Then it still didn't happen. So you're dealing with these people and you're still in the season. Nothing, nothing worked. First of all, 
you get lowballed, you know, you, you know, you get no no respect that 6040 would have been fair, but no. Then uh 15 million flat, and then you come and bring him 50 million for him, and it's not even flat. You know, you get some more money on the back end. But no, I ain't taking that either. So we're not fighting. Then uh, you know, about a year later, then the same people that you have no no uh trust in trying to offer you uh, a three fight deal for a hundred million at the zone and he don't trust nobody over there. And people keep saying, Well, you should have took that. That wasn't no Joshua guarantees, plus they didn't tell him what Josh was making. And if I'm just dealt with you, I have no damn I'm at showtime, I'm doing good already. So I ain't gotta leave unless Joshua. Basically, hundred percent him. So that you know, so that those things so they the other side will say, Joshua side, well he did he didn't take a hundred million for three fights. Right? And just fast forward all that other stuff like it didn't happen. Right? So it's just back and forth with these guys. Whoever you with, whatever. It's one person. You, we just seen all of them in Saudi. Jarrell Miller sitting up there telling the world, we all know that Anthony Joshua was scared as hell as Deontay Wilder. Right? Right? It's, and we know that. Right? And Anthony Joshua, what is his answer? You ain't going to do nothing. Instead of telling them, you or Wild the Skinny Ass ain't going to do nothing. You know, uh, whatever. Just saying, at the end of the day, I think the Joshua Camp is relieved that Deontay Wilder lost to Joseph Parker. Another thing that could possibly happen, but we're getting into a conspiracy theory now. Here we go. What if Deontay was playing chess? Like, the only way to get this fight is to look bad. That's the only way you get Canelo fights. Who goes into Canelo fights looking awesome? Who? Nate, don't worry. We'll do a Cat Williams on you. Who? Who looks who looks awesome and then got a Canelo fight after that? Okay? You can't be looking good and getting over no damn Anthony Joshua fight. He wasn't getting one after how he looked at Robert Hellenius. Then all of a sudden we come up with all these middle fights and have to happen and this and that. Now he looks real bad. Cool. We don't have to have it. We're relieved. You know, we can fight whatever. And they ain't going to listen. You know, they put three options out there. There's uh, Philip Herkovich, Sheila Shang, and, and Ngano, which means translation Ngano. Because <laughs> they ain't messing with Sheila Shang. Not to Joshua right now. And Philip Herkovich probably out. Uh, I think that's a, 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 mm, that's a bomb burner. You know, it's a bar burner. But maybe Anthony Joshua's confidence is back after the auto wall and defeat because he did look real good against him. Let's not get it twisted. Anthony Joshua did look good against Otto Wall and seems to have uh you know come back, so to speak. But I don't know, think that the guy was really um uh, gone. But I was telling you, this is you know, I watched Vladimir Klitschko. You know, when you get hit, you just you gotta figure out other ways to win. You know, you can't just run up on everybody. You know, you have to be versatile enough to figure out for this opponent, I need to implement this plan. And it doesn't matter just because you come forward all the time and then all of a sudden you're on your back foot because this guy, you know, you, you got hit on the chin. There's nothing wrong with that. That's why, like, even though I'm going to roll with Anthony Joshua, I props for his second fight against Andy Ruiz Jr. You know, it's like, okay, he, you know, dude got short arms. I'm going to stay on the outside and, you know, just jab, jab, and grab this one, get this win, and then we move from there. We cross the other bridge and we get there. I, there's no no issue with that because it's still boxing. You ain't out here trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with every single uh, fighter. You're here to get the W. We like fighters to get the W no matter how. You know, it's not like, oh, man, you you didn't engage tonight. Well, no, I didn't engage. That was George Foreman over there, so I, I took a, a rain check on the engaging you know, I holler back when I got somebody over here feather fisted, Jimmy Ellis or something. You know what I'm saying? You know, something like that. But right now, I'm on the outside. You know? That's all cool. So at the end of the day, man, I just personally, y'all know that. I don't think that Anthony Joshua really fancies the fight with Deontay Wilder. This is also a good time to take it. Uh, you know, like I say, with Wilder being down, looking not so dangerous. But still, let's have the fight. Anthony Joshua fans, the question is to you guys. Don't you want to still see Anthony Joshua beat Deontay Wilder's ass? Then go tell him that. Dope Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm out of here, y'all.